In good health, food allergies have more than doubled over the last decade. And while there is still so much experts don't understand about why, they say they're learning more about what works to reduce the risk. Researchers estimate up to 32 million Americans have food allergies. While most develop during childhood, they can occur at any age. The most common allergy in children is peanuts, followed by dairy, soy, and tree nuts. In adults, for example, shrimp is the most common food allergy, representing about 3% of adults. The numbers are rising. We've seen a doubling of food allergies each of the last few decades. And in part, we, we know genetics play a part of any kind of medical condition. But two-thirds of children who develop a food allergy do not have a parent with one. Experts are learning more about a major influencing factor, our environment. Dr. Wendy Sue Swanson cautions about being too clean. The idea that you can kind of raise a child in too sterile of an environment and the research that even if you're raising a baby and a toddler in the presence of a puppy or a dog, it's good for them and decreases the likelihood that they'll develop allergies later in life. The advice on introducing foods is changing too. New research over the last five years is helping guide how we actually advise parents to introduce and include foods in a baby and toddler's diet to help combat the food allergy rates that we're seeing. Talk to your pediatrician on how to get started and pay close attention to your child's skin. Eczema or dry skin is a risk factor for developing food allergies. Introducing potentially allergic foods early and often appears to reduce that risk. And experts say while childhood allergies to milk, eggs, wheat and soy can sometimes be outgrown, today's kids appear to be outgrowing some of these allergies more slowly than in previous decades. Allergies to peanuts, tree nuts, fish and shellfish are generally lifelong.